<laughs> Call eBay on him. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. We got a personal box of Diamond Icon 17. Our last one of 17. This is for Stevie C. He's providing the tunes in the background tonight. And the Diamond Icons break. Good luck, man. Let's root for something big here. So fancy. There's the empty box. This will go to some lucky kid here in the store. Pretty fat. Pretty fat. No room, Stevie. No room at all. That is a good sign. Take that out. Okay, I don't trust that, so I'm going to wait. Get the rest of those out separately. Really nice card. There's the empty. We'll double check that too. Sexy foam. I think the one we had at the National was like that when we opened it. So I don't see a cleat card. Or do I? Or do I? Yeah, buddy, you got a big fat card right there. That's going on the bottom. Okay. Good luck, bud. I'm leave that all on screen. Up first, Jose Altuve out of 25. Little red ink mojo. Let me grab some sleeves from the side. Nine out of twenty-five on the Altuve. Good stuff. Just back today. Multi-hit game, fresh off the DL. Hall of Famer up next, bro. Big Poppy Ortiz out of twenty-five. Future Hall of Famer. Nice auto triple color Boston Red Sox game used jersey. And the cert on that. If you guys want to look up the game, it was played in 471-505-JC. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. 19 out of 25 on the Big Poppy. So two very nice autos out of 25 to kick things off. Okay. Kenta Maeda. That's a nice card. Boy, that's pretty. 3 out of 10 with a powder blue game used Dodger. Not a bad pitcher, just nowhere near what they thought he was when they signed him and all the hype. Pretty much league average, I would say. Maybe a little better. 261289JB for the Kenta Maeda. 3 out of 10. Pretty card. Three cards in. Okay. Reggie. 5 out of 5. Nice card. Red ink. Right on the card, hard sign. Red ink, red parallel. Beautiful Reggie. Four cards in, six to go. And there is a bona fide fatty on the bottom there. Okay. Another future Hall of Famer. 22 out of 25 on the Chris Sale. Nice auto. Mr. October. That's right. 22 out of 25 on the Chris Sale. Good stuff. So far, no whammies. Next up, guy having a really nice season with Boston. 19 out of 25, Andrew Benintendi. Because of the personality, Pib, that's what I always say with Chris Sale. He's, he's very quiet, very laid back. I think once he gets further into his career, though, and once he really, you know, starts cementing that he's going to be a Hall of Famer, I think his values will slowly come up. But he's a very quiet dude. Quiet dudes don't tend to sell too well in MLB. Nice Benintendi. Okay. Get ready to see a couple F-10s. 
Bregman, red ink, 23 out of 25 on the Diamond Icons. Another guy having a monster season. Monster season. 23 out of 25. I totally agree, Frankie. Look at Joe dropping an F10, and it wasn't even a David Wright. <laughs> nice red ink Bregman. So far, every single name, marquee name. Well, Kenta Maeda, you could argue. Okay, there are three cards left, brother. We got 10 out of 10, Omar Vizquel. There's the weakest value card so far. His stuff used to sell really well, and I think that the Super Collectors kind of got sick of, uh, sick of paying. Scherzer is definitely the same way, Crowder, yeah. I did, Joe, I did, true. Figured a Met was coming as well. So Omar, 10 out of 10. Stevie, are you still with us? Okay, there he is. All right, just want to make sure, buddy. Okay, Bobby Abreu, 8 out of 10 is your last autograph. Oh, you can see the name on the on the giant patch. Damn it. Ruined it. 8 out of 10, Bobby, in a Yankee uniform. And you guys can already see the last card. I'm not sure what it is, if it's a cleat or what it is. It is a cleat. Robinson Cano, he just came back. That is a beautiful card. Just came back, homered in his first week, back off the steroid suspension, I know. Game use cleat, 3 out of 10. You got the nameplate off the cleat, too. Man, that's badass. Rub the patch. Decent, Stevie. Decent. Three out of ten. Don't you know? Uh, the bot. So, Pib, the bottom of the cleats with the spikes, like the Piscotti we pulled, those are one of ones. The uh, standard cleat relics like this are out of ten, and they have the nameplate, they have the logo, they have the swoosh, then they have uh, the threads, and then they have a couple basic pieces too. So this is probably the best one with the nameplate. Either that or the MLB logo off the cleat. If they have that. I don't think cleats have that though. PD high from that cleat. <laughs> Good stuff Stevie. Thank you man. I don't think these fit in regulars. Oh yes they do. So, Stevie, how was your first break while hearing your own music in the background? Well, on the stream, anyways. There we go. Cano. Good stuff. I think the stream was warm. I think so, too. too, Frankie. I remember my first pair of metal cleats I bought were that style, the old Mizunos. Hell yeah. I was a big Mizuno cleat fan. David? David's back. Okay, uh, Mr. Bach, got a 16 draft. And the last four uh, Star Wars are gone, guys, so we do have one more case. It'll be with Larry uh, Sunday night when he gets on. That's a good question, Stevie. Hopefully Stevie's uh, copyright, you know, hopefully they're a little slow getting their stuff uploaded to uh, YouTube. Just a little slow. Uh, Topps Chrome Divisional is halted at 4. Let me do a roll call in the room. Let me see if anybody's in. Guys, this is what we got. We got a full case. 2018. Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Divisional. Six spots. 275 per. There are four left. Oh, you're not uploaded. Nice. Good. Then I won't get the uh, copyright strike. Anybody else in on that full case? It's our last case of 18 Topps Chrome Jumbo. They're already bought. Andy, Robin, grab the...
Okay. Sorry, dude. I didn't know if you had sound on. Robin, are you in the room? If you're not, no sweat. I'll do box, uh, draft box instead. I'll give you a minute. I thought you might have been in here. Crowder, you and Kyle Feichert are in on the Topps Chrome Divisional. Okay, ready, Robin? I'm going to do those four boxes, and then Bach, you're up, man. 